What is going on guys, my name is Atlantis and welcome to a different kind of video than what I've done before. This is more of a review video and it was a video requested by one of you guys. Um, I'll leave the comment on the screen right now because I can't remember the name, but you requested that I review this mod and see what I think of it because I've never heard of this mod before and apparently it adds a bunch of different mods into the mob mobs into the game and I'll leave a link to the mod in the description and where you can find out more about it as well. But this is a mod called the Mo- I can't talk today, dear god. I'm running on one cup of coffee, this is not a good idea. <laughs> this is a mod called the Mosey's Mobs mod, and it's made by Bob Mosey, iLexicon, and Pow 101 And basically what it does is it adds several different mobs into the game, as well as some new items, and some other things. So, I'm going to go over that today, and hopefully you guys enjoy my rambling on about this thing. Right, now one of the features of the mod is they've got different kinds of masks. Now each one of these masks, not counting this one, is worn by different members of the tribe things, which are called the Baroka? Yeah, the Barakoa, or whatever they're called. And you can get these ma each different masks by killing them. And I'm assuming that's difficult, I've never tried. Now these, these four, five, five, that's five. These five right here, you can get them just by killing the different members of one of the little like hunting party things that you can find in a tribe. This one, however, comes from killing the Barakoa King or the Barakoa? Oh dear, I've killed it. The, the Barakoa dude, yeah, the soul visage, the Barakoa mask die thing. But you can get that by killing him and they have to, each one has different effects that it gives you. And I don't know if they break. I know the sun one doesn't break, but they don't break. Now, this one, however, you can only get it by killing a Ferus rot, rot I think that's what they're called. Yeah, Ferus Rotnot, that's what they're called. And you can only get this by killing them. And from what I've read, they're very difficult to kill and they only spawn in caves. And that's another thing over here is you can only get from them is this axe. Now, this is a very, very good weapon to have. It does nine damage, but that's not even the best thing of it. If you, it's got the normal attack, but if you shift and click or right click, that happens. <laughs> and it's so hilarious to watch from third person. <laughs> I laughed so much when I saw that. Anyway, that's one of the things you can get from the mod. And then the spear and the blow darts you can get just by killing the normal things. I assume you can just, yeah, see? This is one of the weapons used by the Barakoa. You can get these things just by killing them, same as the masks. And moving right along, this is a foliath plant seed and these you can actually hatch into a baby plant now if you see it there every half day the baby floors will get hungry toss it any meat to feed it after two days it'll be fully grown now these things are not tamed when they're fully grown and they will still attack you but at least you have a plant that you can say you grew yourself now this thing i'm not sure what it does i tried messing with it i couldn't get it to work you can read that if you want pause the video but that's what it does. I'm not sure how it works. I tried to get it to work. I don't understand that thing. It looks like a popcorn bag. We're moving right along. Now these are different mob drops from the things. Now this, I'm assuming you can only get from one of the ice drop mobs, which we'll get to in a moment. This is a glow thing that you can get from the glow jelly things, which we will get to in a minute. This is an earth talisman, which is only in creative mode, so if you're in survival, don't worry about that. Place in geography. Yeah, read that if you want. I'm not going to read it. Just pause the video. That should work. And then this one is a Naga Tooth, or a Naga Fang, used to make potions of resistance. Now the mod also adds a few new blocks, and they're both called Painted Acacia Wood. It adds a slab and a block, and I really do like these because look how colorful they are. They're so pretty, I like them. But I don't think I'd ever use them, I just like them. Now, moving on to the main feature in the mod, the actual mobs. I should put this in this one. Yeah, that's a better idea. Now, there's three different versions of the Barracoa, and then several other things. And then this X here, this is just to get rid of them in creative mode. If you just tap it with that, it'll get rid of them easily. Now, I don't- I've never seen these mods, I haven't spawned them. This is the Rotnot. Now this- oh dear, you have a sword. <laughs> this guy is how you get the axe and the helmet over there, you have to kill him. I don't- I don't want- okay, hold on. I'm assuming you will attack me. Hello? <gasps> oh dear. <laughs> he looks so stupid! Hello, how are you? Ah! <laughs> uh, forget you exist for a minute. Yeah, go back to standing in your spot. Oh, they go cool. They go back to their spot. Okay. Now you can't kill these guys. I don't know how to kill them. They take a special like attacky thingy thing. But yeah, they're hard to kill. That's all I've read. Right, moving right along to these guys. Now I'll actually get to these guys later on in the video. But this one, 
So that's how you get the little blue crystal thing. And these... I guess that's how you get the thing. Now these are terrifying. But they're so cool. I love them. Look at it. It's so cool. And now it's angry. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I... Hold on. Oh dear. Ah! You sound like a foghorn. Hello. What happens if I come... What happens if I let... You missed. You missed. You missed. Hello. <laughs> right. We'll leave that guy there. Now these are the little glow lanterns. Now these can... These spawn in... Um... Roofed forests. And I think... They might spawn in other forests, but I only checked the dark oak and roofed forests, so... That's where they spawn, and now if you kill these guys, they only occasionally drop it, but they will occasionally drop this thing. And these are edible, and you can gain night vision from them, so that's lovely. Now, moving right along to this one. This is the one that I really like. It reminds me of a phantom. Oh my god, these things are fast. This is the Naga, and they are so cool. I love this thing. You sound violent. Here, hold on. What happens if I spawn a bunch of you, and then do the thing? Um, 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 um. Oh, they spit poison. Hello. Oh, that's so cool. Ah! Okay, I'm. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> well, that's why you're not hurting me, because I have peaceful turned on. They're so cool. That is so cool. I love them. I love how dynamic their wings are. Hey. Ice and fire people. Make the wings more dynamic. Make them do this. I love this. I'd love to be able to do that on a dragon. Right, now the last mod in this is... The plant. Now these guys... If you just take... If you get close to them, then they'll attack you, but they'll attack literally anything that comes near them. Including this. And they're so cool. Now, these only spawn in jungles, and I did look for one. I couldn't find one in any of the jungles. I don't know if that's broken, or I don't know if I just wasn't looking hard enough. They do blend in very well in the jungle. And I don't know if I just missed one, or if they just don't spawn. But they're really cool. I do like these plants. Now, these are the ones that you can grow with that thing over there. And this is what happened if you grow them. Now, all you have to do is just plant the thing, feed it meat, and it should grow. Actually, hold on. Yeah, so you just give it, give it steak, or pork chops, or whatever you have. Whatever kind of food you have then it should be able to grow. Assuming it's raw meat, but I don't know. You guys can play around with that on your own. Now, actually, one thing I forgot to mention about these, they only spawn in caves. And they're cool, I like them. Yeah, these things. I forgot to spawn these things in. These are basically little diamonds. Now, from what I read, they'd run away quite fast. Oh my god. He's trying to dig! He can't dig! Oh, the poor thing. Hello. Oh dear, you are so fast. Come back. Come back. <laughs> see, see, they dig away, and they run away, and they're very difficult to catch, but they're worth it. Right, leave me alone, you weird lizard thing. I love those. They're so cool. Right, now moving along to the main feature, I guess, in the mod, the Barracoda, or whatever they're called. Now, these things only spawn in savanna biomes, but... This is how you get the masks. Now you'll find little hunting parties like this, well, and so they- you mind, that's that's what what I love that noise! <laughs> but yes, they'll attack just about anything they see. And if you're in survival, I assume they'll come after you. I haven't tested it, but probably. Now, you'll find them in little villages like this, and be quiet, I'll get to you in a minute. And you'll find- Shh. Like my bird, you never shut up. But you'll find them in little villages like this, where you can get some of the little painted things. You'll find different things like this as well. And I wouldn't recommend coming into these because I haven't done it in survival, but from what I've read... <gasps> campfire! I don't know if you can actually build these, but um, yes, they're in the game. Tasa Margarita to you. <laughs> Jeez, okay. <laughs> But you'll find them in these villages, and this is the only way to get the masks. You just kill these guys, and they'll they'll drop the mask every now and then. It's not a 100% drop rate, but they will drop them. Now this guy, this is how you get the sun mask. And honestly, you look like... 
You are so stupid. <laughs> but this guy, when I first saw him, you have animation cool. Shut up! I swear, you remind me of like what a child would look like if Jabba the Hutt, Boston Ass, and a pinata had a baby. This is what it would look like. But if you kill this guy, he should drop his mask, and you should be able to get that mask. And from what I read, you can actually spawn things? Yeah, and then right-click with Barracom with a different mask to spawn a follower. Or to spawn followers. So hold on, let me test this. I've never actually tried it. <gasps> I have a follower! <laughs> Look at me! I have a follower! Aha, I have my own tribe. <laughs> But yes, that's one thing you can do. I wonder how long <laughs> you do if you're in survival. Yeah, see, they're just my little friend. The mask only works once, though, so that's a thing. Oh, shut up. Oh, this would get so annoying so quick. Okay, okay, let's attack this village, me and my little tribe. I've set the spawn to, like, right there, so it should be fine. Have at ye. Hello. Oh. Ah! Which? Who's who? I don't know whose side anyone's on. Do you attack me? Probably. I wonder if these ones will as well. Oh dear. Yeah, so you don't get their mask 100% of the time. <gasps> That's what happens if you attack this guy. Ah! So yeah, that's what happens if you attack this guy. Um, he shoots sun lasers at you. And I'm pretty sure you can do the same thing. Oh, jeez. Ah! Retreat! Right, I'm pretty sure you can do the same thing with the mask. Oh, dear. Gee, no, please, stop it! Okay, haha, uh -huh, I'm safe, look at me. Stop! Ooh, he also does that. Mm. Well, there goes my tribe. <laughs> I love this mod. I find it quite enjoyable. Those guys are also so stupid. <laughs> Little noises they make. Gee. This is actually quite a nice mod. I really like it. Thanks you to the person who suggested it that I still can't remember your name of. I'll look at it after I'm done recording. And I know the videos haven't been late lately, but I can't do much about that. It's because my Wi-Fi has been acting up for the last three months. And it hasn't affected me in terms of YouTube until now because I haven't been doing YouTube until now. So hopefully that'll work itself out soon. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry if they're late, but hopefully it'll be better soon. But anyway, that is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. If you really enjoyed, then be sure to subscribe. And we're almost so, we're so close to 400 subscribers. We're like eight away when I'm recording this. And that's so amazing. Thank you guys so much. And also, go check out this mod. I really enjoy it. I might actually do a few things with it as well. Like, maybe a Let's Play on it. What? And the person who suggested this video actually suggested adding it to the Ice and Fire series. So let me know if you want to see it in the Ice and Fire series. And the reason I'm reluctant about adding new mods after we've been in the series is because I've done quite a bit of exploring. And any chunks that have already been loaded, they won't have any of this in it. So that's why I'm a little bit apprehensive about adding. Is that the right word? Probably not, but I'm going to use it anyway. <laughs> but that's why I'm a little bit wary of adding new mods to the series after I've already started it. So let me know if you want to see it. If enough people want to see it, I will add it, but no promises. So anyway, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!